Um, so first of all, I'd like to know who you are and what you do. I'm Adam Dobres and I play the guitar. Um, yeah, I played about for about 20 years as a side musician for a lot of amazing artists. Uh, I thought it was time to branch out and just write some original material and see what I could do by just ins distilling all the inspirations from over the years into just the guitar and just melody, no lyrics. And that's what this journey's been about with my solo album. Last year I wrote an album's worth of original compositions and I've been playing uh, my own solo shows for the first time after being a side musician for about 20 years and I'm really enjoying it and I hope to do more house concerts because they're my favorite for this type of music. How are you doing, Elspeth? Good. good to see you. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. We're almost there. Oh, We're almost there. Oh, Hi, Don Adam. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you too. Oh, welcome. You're, okay. you're home now, right? You're right yeah, Various places. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say, some of my favorite shows I've ever played in any group have been house concerts. Uh, there's something about it, just being really close and intimate with the crowd and, and uh, not having a big stage to be in the way and to create a wall between you and the audience. Uh, I've played on Piers Island a few times with some other musicians and they approached me when they came to my CD release show in Victoria and asked, hey, would you play Piers Island? And I would, said, of course, I'd love to. Is that the last of it? Okay. <laughs> and I just love the whole, the whole adventure of coming over on a boat, you know, on a little tiny boat and pulling up to their house and, you know, carrying the gear up the stairs and setting up there and playing the show and then going home on the boat that night. There's just something fun about that adventure and, and the crowd of people being from Piers Island, an island of 200 people. It's just an amazing, an amazing thing to play to such a small community. Thank uh, you guys so much for having me back here again, and, and I feel really honored to be here. And it's just always it's been so awesome to come here every time in the little boat, you know, <laughs> and showing up. And yes, yeah, it's, it's always a great experience. And such a friendly bunch of people. So, it's, so who all here lives on Piers Island? Is, oh yeah, quite a bit. Cool. Yeah, so we're sort of island neighbors. We're on Pender Island over there somewhere. <laughs> Where, which way is it actually? Is it? You guys all know that one. <laughs> yeah.
It is, yeah. Where does that fit in there with this Russian? Um, <laughs> good question. Uh, it's uh, it's funny because when I did this album, I was thinking I played like in rock bands, and country bands, and like pop music and Celtic music and klezmer music. I thought, what am I going to do for my own record? So I thought maybe I'll hire a band and go into the studio and rock out an electric guitar and hold the guitar like this. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to just write for just the guitar and me and see what comes out and. Most of it came out was very inspired by Celtic music. And I started playing Celtic when I was about 15 with uh, Daniel Lapp, had his fiddle orchestra in Victoria. And do you know Adrian Dolan from the Bills? Do you know that guy? He, I played music when, with him when I was about 13 years old, 12 years old. First guy I ever played music with, and he brought me into the Celtic music world. And I played guitar with him, and he played fiddle, and played with Kato before too. Yes, too. We played here together, and, and uh, so it's always been a big part of my life, the Celtic music. And, in the Russian sort of klezmer style, that's in my family being Jewish. We have my aunt plays the clarinet, and uh, she plays amazing klezmer clarinet. So we, I remember being a young kid hearing her practice for hours a day. And, but I did write on the back of the record that it's influenced by Celtic music because it definitely, definitely is it's my favorite type of music. Um, I feel like there's so many emotions and things in life that you can't put words to, and that's why I feel like with instrumental music, you can convey messages that words can't, and a certain depth of emotion, and that's what I want to bring to people through the music that I'm playing with these original pieces. Thank you.